Hi guys, my name is Jazz and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I discuss everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today is going to be a great week. It's New York Fashion Week, um, which goes on to about next week, next Wednesday or Thursday um, in New York. Um, so I'm actually really grateful to be going to a few events this year. Um, today, I told you guys in my last vlog, I will be working <laughs> Thursday, Friday, and of course I'm off the weekends. You know, I have to go to my 9 to 5. So today is Thursday, and it's about... 5 30 6 o'clock um i'm about to head down to the city to go to the dylan lex event with carolyn gray i'm gonna meet shakur there so that's gonna be my day one new york fashion week um i'll show you guys the look um a little bit later when i'm in front of a full length mirror but it's so funny because as you guys know in my last vlog i i planned out all my looks so i was like okay let me plan out all my looks let me get them all together and it's a heat wave and like, not that my looks are super like wintry or fall, but it's like, okay, I got a blazer. I got like my leather jacket that goes with this. Cause you know, it, it kind of brings the look together. And it's like heat wave, like 95 hot. Like it wasn't even this hot in the summer. Like not complaining, but it's like, where was this weather at when we wanted it, when it was raining? Okay, it's, it's just me. That was just a little rant, but it's so hot. Um, and I was like, I'm not changing these looks. I'm committed. The only looks that will work with this weather is like literally, like a summer dress which is just not something that i'm buying or doing right now so i'm going to be committed to my looks my look for tomorrow is like very summer appropriate i'm kind of glad i'm wearing it but it'll be cute i'm going to just go with it i'm probably going to put the leather jacket on my shoulders so it's not um like me wearing it because it's just really too hot so i'm going to head down to the city now just because i don't want to be late and i want to be on time um because it's a super packed event. I believe it's like full. Um, so I want to do that today. Um, and then we're going to pick the day back up tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I have the Giovanni fashion show. And probably... I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to set some things up. Like maybe meet the girls from, some of the girls for drinks or something like that. So we will see. But let's go down to the city. Meet Shakura to go to the Dylan Lex event. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Made into the city. I had to park. I was very lucky. So now I'm walking over to the event. It's so funny. I saw Janae like on the street <laughs> shooting pictures. Janae, nail up, Hello Lux. And I wanted to be like, oh my god, hey queen. But I was like, let me not do that like in the car and scare her and look totally creepy. Um, but we're walking over now. Um, I'm actually going to text Shakora because I'm supposed to be meeting her. Hold on, my light's so bright. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna text her now, see where she is. And I'll show you guys when we get inside. Look who it is, it's Shakora. <laughs> we're burning up because it's 95 degrees. So this same, is same, okay. got it. <laughs> we're at Dylan and Lex. Oh my Oh yeah. Yes. That is we love it. It's beautiful. You guys show us the front too. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs>
So I'm leaving the Dylan Lex Cal and Gray event. It was actually really cool. Um, Dylan Lex has some really, really great pieces. Um, very um, forward, very cool. And something, and the pieces which I love about them is like you won't find it anywhere else, you know? It's very special and like unique. Um, price point, um, I would say it's probably from like, like they have rings and stuff that's like 150 to probably like, we saw Misha Kaur saw a necklace that was probably like, $900, which is fair for the quality that you're getting. Um, as you saw, all the girls were there. Um, Janae, um, met Janae, she's so sweet, of course. Um, I met some new peeps, which is really fun. Uh, I have that, I will link her information down below. She's on Instagram. Sorry guys, I keep looking down because I'm trying not to fall on the crooked New York Street ground. Um, so yes, met um, Aya there. Um, and a few other people were there too. Um, that I got to meet um, who were really, really sweet. So it was really cool. Um, you know, me and Shakora, you know, we kikied <laughs> as we always do and we had fun and Carolyn Gray was really sweet. She like introduced us, um, introduced herself and showed her fabulous outfit. So fabulous, um, her necklace was fabulous. So it was a really cute time. Um, but yeah, sorry, my phone cut off, uh, my camera cut off. So me and Shakora were just talking about people being nice and I was telling her how like maybe three or four years ago before COVID, I went to an event um, and it was my first time. I had no followers, like maybe five followers and I was just scared, scared as shit, like scared to talk to anybody, just afraid. And I remember meeting an influencer and her being so nice to me. And it just meant so much to me because I was like, oh my God, it's so intimidating. You're around your peers, people who do what you do and you don't want to say anything because you're scared you to look stupid. Um, and all I just want to say, if you're watching this, of course, I'm always going to say start. Start whatever you want to do, but just be nice to people. Saying hello to people, saying hi, and being kind and warm. It just goes a long way. Because um, sometimes even at you know, me at this point and influencing, sometimes I get intimidated to meet certain people. And when they're so nice and they're just like, hi, and give you like a hug, it just means the world. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to be like, oh, don't touch me. You don't have to do all that. Just be nice. Just be nice. It goes a long way. So if you're watching this, maybe at work, be nice to your coworker. Hello, how are you? It goes a long way. So that's just all I wanted to say. And that's no shade to anybody, but I just thought about it because it was on my mind. It doesn't hurt to be a nice person. It just doesn't. So if you guys ever see me, I haven't met anybody yet in person, any of my amazing followers in person, but if you do, come say hi to me. If I look like I'm gonna be rude, I'm not. I'm so nice. I promise I'm nice. I'm gonna meet you guys and be like, oh my God, and have a good time. But my arm is hurting <laughs> and it's so hot today. Like literally I'm like sweating. So walk into my car. I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow for the Giovanni show. Um, and we'll check back in then. Bye. Hi guys, so it is Friday. And you're gonna be like, why are you in pajamas in your like little bonnet thing? It's because, uh, yes, I did work today. So I did go to work, I went to work, left early. Now I'm back at home, cause I'm gonna change and just get ready for the Giovanni fashion show, which is at around five o'clock. And I really wanna do my best not to be late. So I was like, you know what, let me just get home early. Let me change the PJs, wrap the hair up, and let's start over. We got iced coffee that is melted. That's how hot it is. Um, and I was like, let's just start everything today. So yes, the Giovanni show today, which I'm excited about, um, a few reasons why. I actually want to sit. Let's go sit. It's so funny because Giovanni, Giovanni, I actually wore a Giovanni dress to my prom in high school, which I graduated in class of 2005. Oh my God, let me change the lighting. Which I'm absolutely aging myself. There we go. Oh, which I'm absolutely aging myself. 2005, and I remember like I went to my best friend's prom, and I'm like, oh, I want a Giovanni dress. Giovanni, all the dresses I liked were Giovanni. That's what I wanted to wear. That's what I wanted to be in. Um, so if I find a clip of my prom dress, um, I will insert it here in the clip. Um, be nice to me. Like 
when I graduated in 2005, we did not have resources as there is now. Now there's YouTube, the girls can get their makeup done to look like Lori Hari, their pictures of inspiration. Back then it was no inspiration. It feels like that was the stone ages, but there was no inspiration. You kind of just went to the Clinique counter. I never wore look up makeup. You went to the Clinique counter, they just did what they did and you left with what you left. There was really no hair inspo. I told her I want long floral hair, I had tight curls. But we're not gonna go there. But the dress was Giovanni, so it's kind of a full circle moment to kind of be going to the Giovanni, their first ever fashion show today so I'm excited about it I think you guys are gonna love my outfit it's really cute it's giving fashion it's giving you know extra I showed you guys in the last vlog but I don't think I got to wear it to show you guys but yeah so we're doing that today I'm going to do my makeup my face is washed um, I didn't wear makeup to work because I wanted my I wanted a fresh beat to go to the show so we're about to sit down do our makeup um, yeah so that should be fun um, I'm trying to think if I want to do my makeup on camera because I did got to get a new few products and I do my makeup a little diff different now but we'll see okay guys I'm ready for the Giovanni show sorry the lighting is bad I'm sitting in front of my ring light but the face is beat okay got the necklace from Zara the abs is out oh you guys are gonna love this look but I'm excited of course I was trying not to run late and of course I'm not running late but right on time but the face I took my time with it and I had to straighten my hair so <laughs> it wouldn't get hit by the humidity Bob is bobbing let me see if I can show you guys in the mirror my room is such a mess because like I'm getting dressed so quickly and then I wanted to shoot like a reel and a short so I could put on YouTube but let me show you guys a look one second let me get to the mirror so guys excuse the mess but we have the um, entire studios like maxi skirt with the top I have my leather jacket, but it's just so hot. I kind of have it like off the shoulder kind of thing. Of course, we got the necklace from Zara. And you know, that is the look. But I love this. I feel like I need to like go out tonight or something. But this is the look. It came together really, really good. Yeah, so let's go. So I'm going to walk. I'm in the car, obviously, I'm in Manhattan. So much traffic, of course, but I gave myself enough time. So the show starts at 6, it's 5.30 now. Why is it raining? So I don't know if I should wear this jacket, get an umbrella. I just don't want to have too many things in my hands. Why? 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 So I opted for the jacket <laughs> and an umbrella. I just figured, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in New York right now. Um, it cooled down a little bit, which is good. So I don't feel like totally ridiculous with the with the jacket but it is you see it's definitely drizzling it could be harder but it's kind of they said the thunderstorms are supposed to start like at 4 I'm like it's 5 30 why is it not stopping um but that's okay it could be worse so hopefully it stops and I'm gonna have to just have this umbrella I don't I don't I don't know what else to say but I figured like that would be better without than having like a jacket on my head and then like that being really horrible so let's go to the event let's get inside Good, um, I guess like 
wedding attire dresses. Um, a lot of the girls who like do pageantry were there, so that was really cool. Um, so, so reminiscent. They've come a long way, the brand, and it was fun. Um, very fun. Um, the place inside was beautiful. This is my, no, that's not my lift. <laughs> so, waiting for my lift now, and um, let's go to the Essence Fashion House. made it back to my car as you can see the lights are on who my feet they don't hurt but you know how the Bottega um, stretch mules are actually really comfortable but you know how you've just been standing for like a, a few hours they're just you just want to take them off so not bad I'll see if I'm gonna wear them tomorrow but I had such a great night honestly I had like a really really great night it was so much fun I met so many new people so many new faces and people who knew me and it's always it's always so surprising when somebody recognizes you especially like your peers and it's just it was fantastic um i entered the clip um but i took a clip on my phone because i was going back from my phone to my camera but um if you guys don't follow selena sincerely you probably do on instagram she's in so i'm here with the fabulous selena and then we realized that we work together at sephora <laughs> fabulous follow her um, amazing creator amazing fashion she does like over 50 um fashion and she's she's fabulous than girls i know um but she's amazing but it's so funny like i had saw her on instagram one time i'm like she looks so familiar why do i know her and i put two and two together we used to work together at sephora <laughs> um so we used to work together at sephora, uh, sephora so we were able to kind of connect and we were like oh my gosh she was like i remember you matched me to a foundation then you recruited me to work there <laughs> So it was so funny. So we were able to catch up. Um, Angela Baltimore, um, we were friends online. We met in person and just so many other people that I met at the Essence House, which is really cool. The Giovanni Show, I didn't see many people I knew, um, but I met people there. Um, it was an amazing show. Um, Essence Fashion House, getting into all, you know, my people of color who were looking fabulous. Um, it was it was awesome. So I had a really great night. I met Life of Glory B, who um, I became familiar with from Monroe Steel. So she was such a sweetheart and she stopped me and she was just as fabulous so I had a really great night my feet are you know a little sore um, but great night overall um, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow I have to find myself something to eat I don't even do fast food but I'm like I need a McDonald's I'm so thirsty I, <laughs> I haven't had water for since like five o'clock so I'm gonna just probably get something fast and um, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow um, we have Alice and Olivia tomorrow um, and I'm not sure what else I'll get into but I will catch up with you guys then bye hi guys so it's Saturday it's about four o'clock. We're on our way. No, it's three o'clock. We're on our way to. Well, I'm on my way to see out the Alice and Olivia presentation. I'm so excited. Um, it's something that I'm actually really, really looking forward to. Out of all the shows and um, presentations I'm going to, I'm so excited um, to be going. Um, I'm wearing a dress. It looks like I have no top, so I'm wearing my green cost dress. You guys 
saw um, in my last video, so I'm excited to go. My boyfriend's dropping me off today, so I'm getting door-to-door -door service, so I'm excited about that. Um, he just wants to be in the car and watch football, um, Coach Prime football today, so I'm like, can you just drop me off? Because I've been struggling the past few days, so I'm excited about that. So I'm taking you guys along with me. I think that's all I have going for today. Um, I just wanted to keep it very chill, because tomorrow I have like a super busy day, and yesterday was like so amazing. Um, I met so many people yesterday, and I got home late. I didn't even I, don't even, I didn't even eat dinner really. I was like, I realized like in the video, I was like, I haven't had a sip of water for like about four hours just because I was just talking and just having a good time. So let's go. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit in a second. Um, if I don't get to show you outfits, of course I'll enter clips and pictures, but let's go down. Of course, it's a New York raining day. Cause why not? Um, I touched up my hair because you know how you get your hair done in the salon, it's like perfectly straight, but it was so humid. It was given Miami humidity yesterday. Um, so hopefully it's not as humid um, today. When I went out, because I did work earlier today, it was fine. So we'll see how it is today. So let me show you guys what I'm wearing and let's go downtown to the Alice and Olivia presentation. So don't mind my room, guys. So this is the cost dress um, that I'm wearing with St. Laurent sandals. Um, I'm gonna wear it with a Full leather blazer, it's a little hot right now, so I'm gonna wear a full leather Zara blazer and brooch in my um, bag, so that should be really cute. Um, I just wanted the pop of color um, and wanted to get my wear out of this dress and I didn't feel like wearing something new when I actually have stuff. So let's go, let's be on our way. So I made it downtown um, by Wall Street, so I didn't even realize that Allison Livia was gonna be in the financial district. It's raining, it's cloudy, traffic's not moving, but I'm gonna get right out so I should have no problems, but I guess I'll have the umbrella again. Um, took the sunglasses off because it's dark. It's like, you see how pitch black it is right now? It's like four o'clock and dark out. So I'm not sure how long the rain will start or keep going, but I'll show you guys when we're inside.
just leaving the Alice and Olivia presentation. I am like sweating. Do you see the sweat on my chest? It was just hot in there. It's hot outside. My feet, I should not have worn these St. Laurent shoes. I'm like, my boyfriend parked and I'm like limping. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Somebody is smoking on this block. Oh my god. But literally, I'm like, oh, I'm like, where did you park? I can't make it. But it was so awesome. I hope you guys loved all of the looks. It was fabulous. It was really crowded inside, but it was a good time. It wasn't so. Where's this guy park? Oh my god. Oh, I see him. Trying not to get hit by a car. Um, but all the looks were cool. Um, I met two awesome girls online that we kind of stuck together and just did videos of each other. Um, because it was a tighter space, we couldn't really like, couldn't really chat in there. It was like loud, but it was cool nonetheless. So I'm about to get some to eat. I'm not sure if I'm going to end the vlog here or pick it back up tomorrow. I was thinking about breaking it up in two parts. So if you see no more, <laughs> this is the end now. If I pick back up tomorrow, then we'll continue tomorrow. But I just wanted to have something to post for you guys and also, um, have something for next week too. Look at my hair, look at this blowing up. Humidity, humidity. Bye, <laughs> bye bye.